Okay, so in this demonstration, what I'm going to do is show you how the um, Farlang component works. And what Farlang does is it handles translations from what's a core language, in this case English, into the translated language of your choice. So and our other choice here is, is Arabic. Now, Farlang varies from the way we used on Tharawat magazine in that um, basically on Tharawat magazine what you've got is two completely different sites, an English one and an Arabic one. And you've got duplicate articles, one in Arabic, one in English, um, where you need the same content. The way Falang uses it is it keeps all the English articles and then you store a translation of those same articles in the Falang component. And what Falang does is it detects what language is showing on the front pages and shows the content accordingly. This is actually quite powerful in that if you haven't translated content, um, Falang will show the default. So you'll always have some content there. You won't be missing something. Um, secondly, it's quite powerful um, in that it enables you quite easily to see the current English translation on the screen and then put the Arabic to it. You can still have different content or slightly amended content if something's more applicable in English than it is in Arabic. Um, and you can still use Joomla's inbuilt language switching so that you can add parameters to things like menus and articles and so on so that they only appear in the English or the Arabic or all languages. So here we're looking at the, let's go to the about page. And what I'm going to do is show a quick translation of these menu items. Um, the reason for doing that is, is that hopefully I'm hoping they're easy ones for me to translate and put in. They might, might not be right, but it's as a demonstration. So we're now looking at it in English. If I switch to the Arabic front end, you'll see the template switches right to left, which is what we expect. Um, the logos and everything, the images and so on have all been set up, but you'll notice that all the language is still English. And that's because Falang hasn't detected any published Arabic content to replace it with. So there's no translations in the back end at the moment. So what we need to do is we go into the admin side and under components we select Farlang. Um, so this is the control panel. Don't really need to spend too much time on this. The important thing here is translation. Um, if you've got multiple languages, now this is remembered where I was, if you've got multiple language you can select them using this drop down. So you can see this is a fairly standard Joomla layout. You've got your usual buttons up here, you've got your list with checkboxes and so on. Um, important things here are the state and whether it's published or not. So these again work like the, the normal lists you would expect. So you can publish and unpublish by clicking them. The state um, will give you an indicator as to whether it thinks that it either needs completing, it hasn't been touched, or it's actually ready to go and it's, it's got it here. You've got tick box, it's incomplete, or it doesn't exist at all. So what we can now do is use a menu filter. So if I look for the main menu, um, you'll see all of the menu items and all the sub items. So you've got about us, advisory board, advocacy and so on. So that's um, the about us, advisory board and, and so on. So it's sorting them in alphabetic order. Um, we just need to translate them as we go. So if I give an example of that, um, and I'll take the About Us. So what you'll see here, because this is a menu item, and each component of content, either it be menu, article, category, or whatever, um, has a different layout similar, so that you see the original, in this case English, and then you see the translation. Now, the translation at the moment doesn't really mean anything, it's just a default. So what we've got at the moment is um, if we take the text I use my trusty Google Translate which no doubt you must think is very funny because it probably doesn't do it correctly I'm not sure um, I tried working off the live site but to try and cut and paste the Arabic text for me because I have a Western operating system is actually really difficult you have to work back to front uh, it's probably it might be the same for you for the English I don't know but I paste the translation in so I've got the English and the translation I can use delete to clear the box I can use copy if I just want to use exactly the same in terms of the alias it's really this is what's displayed and this is used for search engine um, I can also point it at the original article 
or if I really do have a completely and utterly separate article and I want to keep them separate I can actually put any reference in here and point it to a completely different article or I can point it to the same article and then I can go and translate that article in Falang. Okay, so the next thing I need to make sure is the publish because if I don't click published then it will still show English. If I show that for a minute, if I save this go back to the site and we're in Arabic and I click refresh that menu item doesn't change. If I now publish that and save it we should now see, fingers crossed, ah we have a 404 because the article doesn't exist. That's okay. That's because these are different. So I'm going to copy it across, save it. Yeah, and it's flicked us back to the English. Okay. Let's refresh that. So it has an issue. Okay. Ah, so it keeps wanting to go to 42. Yet the original is 71. Ah, right, okay. Because it looks like it picked up an old one. It's because this box was blank. So now, hopefully, fingers crossed, we now see. So you can see the page has changed this has changed but the text is still English because we haven't translated that article so as we go we can work our way across so I can find if I close that off I can now find the members one which was the ne next link across I mean you could translate them you know as you go if you like because they all need translating for me I'm just trying to give an example um, of how this works. So again I get that translation, select it, copy, back into there. Now this is the same, you can see here it's picked up the right article here and these match, so that's fine. Say published, save and close it. And should now, refreshing the front page, we now have members and so on and so forth. So that's the translation. Now what we may need to do is translate this article. Um, it's exactly the same principle. What we do now is this element here shows all the various. So we've got menus. This is contents which is um, principally articles. You've got your categories. Um, you've got contacts. Um, as I say you can do menus. You can even translate uh, module titles and various other bits and pieces. Um, you've got the download and the gallery which contain um, a lot of the resources or handle the resources and the web links as well. Um, so if I want to go and find that article 71 which was the contents um, I've got a category filter here. So we were looking at the um, which one were we on? About us. So it's the default article for About Us, which is this article here. So that's my machine running slow. So this is article 71 in essence. Um, and this is the English. So this is the English that we're seeing here. If I wanted that in the Arabic, what well, basically it's the same as editing a, um, a straightforward article. So again, I've got the... Um, about us. So copy that and put that as my title. Um, I can also paste it into the field alias. That's okay. Um, now I can select copy and it will create an exact copy here. Okay, so that will all be copied over. Um, I can also clear it out. Uh, and you'll see you get the same editor, same buttons, exactly the same rules. Is I need to basically capture that code, and it's not as easy as it looks. I'll do a, a quick crude attempt. So copying that and pasting it into there. 
I'm not sure that's perfect to be honest that looks to be switched around you can see the the left to right right to left problems you probably have exactly the same problems the other way around if you see what I mean um, okay it's a crude way of doing it we need to refine that but it shows the principle so again I can publish that um, save it you can also preview so it will give you the ability to or it should give you the ability ah right okay it's because we're on the test server so the preview is not going to work too well um, and here you can see it does the translation that's right it's because that's that's showing me left to right so it looks the wrong way around and of course when it's in the template it'll show it right to left so it looks correct um,